distinguished colleagues. Uh, distinguished colleagues. Uh, distinguished colleagues. Uh, distinguished colleagues, this, I, will, I will put the question again. Other please, distinguished, distinguished senators, sit down, please. Okay. Can, he, he can Please, distinguished senator, take your seats, please. Going to an order. Mr. President, point to an order. Mr. President, point to an order. Somebody is fought it all here. Uh the Don't worry. Uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, uh, speak from there, please. Distinguished colleagues, and today we need to find out, Mr. Senior President. Nobody is stopping him from being cleared. No. And I'm happy the way the uh, president has sent so many people, great people here. We have questioned them, passed through the screening, wonderful people, and we're ready. As much as they are ready to work with the, uh, the, the, the system, we are ready to clear them. But not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing, since he has been running away from it, for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that because this thing has been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the... But he is here. And it's our responsibility to find out. So, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened. But not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert at any point. You can even call for an emergency and we'll reconvert. Because we would not like to what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. Yes. We won't take it this time around. Yes. We want a situation, we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when this is left so that he can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians, I have perfectly done well because this record has been put straight. That is my submission, Mr. Senior President. I rest my case. Very ably moved by Senator Darlington Wokocha that in view of section 88 B of the uh, 1B of the constitution which mandates the national assembly to go ahead and look into the conduct of affairs of any person authority or ministry and where such a person refuses and 
deliberately stays away from letting the National Assembly do its work. And in view of the fact that this nominee rejected the summons of both the House of Representatives and the Senate, that I do support that this nominee should be stepped down pending when he decides that the National Assembly has that right to inquire into the workings of a minister and his ministry. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, a motion has been moved and seconded that this Senate do resolve into a closed session to iron out some issues of national concern. Those who are in support of this closed session has moved to say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. The Senate will now uh, uh, revert to a closed session. The press will leave us and the nominee will leave us for a while while we discuss.